Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. Been uh, putting up earthquakes here. It's a earthquake hotspot um, there in Australia, Western Australia. Recently, there's been a lot of earthquakes near uh, Wyal Ketchum. Sorry, if you want to have somebody mispronounce a name, yeah, give it to me. This is a, a hot spot in Australia. It's part of um, one of the original places that formed actual crust on Earth. It is the Yogarn Craton, and this is a picture of Australia, Western Australia, and different fault lines and earthquake swarms that had occurred there. These would all be considered interplate earthquakes, where you're not supposed to have earthquakes. It's part of the Australian continent where, yeah, it's the original bedrock when Australia formed. So this um, hot spot, we got probably three different areas. These here are the most recent earthquakes. We got um, a 4.5, which occurred on... August 18th. Yeah, they're ongoing. There was also a magnitude 4.2. Now that occurred um, August 18th. But they've been ongoing. There's been some more recent ones. And it's kind of like a little square here. I also mapped out the earthquake swarms that had occurred at the end of 2017 and 2018. Um, there is another area which they consider a hot spot, which they had earthquakes in 2020 um, in the area of Corda. So it's all basically within this location. Um, back in 1968, there was a magnitude 6.5. That was a really devastating earthquake. That was along the Meckering Fault. Um, many some many of the old timers probably would remember that several people were killed during that earthquake but i have spent the, the day marking out these earthquakes historic earthquakes from 2017 and 18 and then the more recent earthquakes yeah i've been doing this all day trying to find a fault zone that goes through here haven't been able to find anything now in 1988 uh, there was a 4.3 in this location up in this hot spot of cluster. You know, they call it an earthquake swarm. So I don't know if it's got anything to do with the um, fault zone, the Meckering fault zone. It very well could extend all the way up here because, you know, this one was in 88. Um, I don't know. Here on the Australian uh, government website, these are the recent earthquakes in this location. And let me zoom in here. Okay, these are all the earthquakes within the last 30 days. 21 right here in this location. And then if I bring it out, yeah. This area of the Craton has what they call layering. It was a term that I hadn't heard before, um, yeah, eons ago when the planet was forming. Yeah, I thought that was interesting how the lithosphere could have layering. Not all the scientists agree about this layering. They think the earthquakes um, could occur because of the weaker, the uh, lower level of the lithosphere, the crust of the earth could be weaker than the um, upper part of it. I've talked about the Earth's magnetic field, how it's getting weaker and weaker. and We're now seeing more and more earthquakes in many diverse places. And they're definitely increasing around the world, not just in numbers, but in magnitude. I also found a paper. I'll give you a link to it. It talks about 28 cluster locations in Western Australia uh, that were identified as being active between June of 2017 and 2020. But yeah, it's still active with the recent earthquakes that are occurring there. Cluster activity at a location may be short and, and intense, with most events 
uh, within a few days or weeks or maybe spread out over several months or even years. Because of the uh, cluster of earthquakes that were being recorded in uh, 2021, I believe, um, at Corda, that's when they put in some extra seismic stations. So they started re recording more earthquakes that they probably missed before. Here we have a list of the different cluster locations along with the years that they occurred. The smaller earthquakes do not relieve tension. A lot of people think that smaller earthquakes relieve tension to prevent a larger one. No, it's an indication that a larger earthquake uh, could possibly happen. Any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. This one earthquake that occurred in the recent location where the swarm's going on, the 4.2, 25 people said that they did feel that earthquake. It had a depth of 5 kilometers, which is shallow. It's only about um, 3 miles in depth. Yeah, very shallow. There's an image here of the different um, stations as the earthquake came in on their seismographs. Yeah, more than likely, this uh, Meckering Mech Mech Fault, it probably does travel up over there. And it does have a history of a magnitude 6.5 that created a lot of destruction. Um, there was scarps, uplifts along the fault, which were about um, more than 3 meters in height. So that would be uh, 9 feet 10 inches, yeah. Um, you know, and since then, I hope earthquake standards have improved, but there's probably some older buildings in this location. Um, yeah, I hope you're all earthquake prepared. So anyways, I, th I found that interesting. I did not know that cratons could have layering um yeah so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe i do have links down below uh, in the uh, more information box about um, earthquakes in this location um i always be prepared please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you all bye